Good morning, guys. Keisha Henry, happy Thursday. It's almost Friday, guys, almost Friday. So are you waiting for that feeling to come so you can feel good, so you can get over that bad feeling that you're feeling right now? That would always work. It will not always work. So if you're waiting for that good feeling to come so you can get over that bad feeling, that's not, it doesn't always work like that. It doesn't. You have to remember that thoughts produce emotions and feelings. Where, where am I going with this? You know what? This morning for my start campaign, I woke up thinking, oh my God, I don't feel like going to the gym today. I don't feel like going. I really was struggling this morning. I was struggling. I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like going. And then I remember, hey, you got to practice, you know, what is true. Um, so, you know, are you struggling with depression? Are you struggling with loneliness? Are you struggling with isolation? Yeah, those bring really nasty feelings. And if you're waiting for a feeling, a good feeling to get over that feeling, that's not how it usually works. Because if you're waiting for that good feeling to come, that, that means we're waiting on external things to happen. And usually external things, you have to remember those things are temporary. They're very impermanent. And so if you're waiting for that good feeling to come so you can get over this bad feeling, that's not how it works. Remember, thoughts produces emotions and feelings. So then if you're waking up like feeling blank like I felt this morning and just felt like, oh my gosh, I'm not going. I can go tomorrow. So we always say there's going to be tomorrow. Do we really know that? Do we know there's going to be a tomorrow? No, we know about today. We know about today and in this moment, not even the rest of the day, but we know about just this moment. And so I, rem I reminded myself that, remember, it's what you think about that produces these thoughts. So you may wake up physically feeling like, oh, you know, do I have to do it again? But that's the thing. Do I have to do it again? That's the thought, the thing that we told ourselves that really produced, oh, I'm not going. So if you're waiting for that good feeling to come so you can feel good about doing something, remember, most times that's not how it's going to work. It's going to be about what you tell yourself. And what I told myself this morning was, you know what? I have goals. I, I have things that I need to accomplish. I have things that I want to accomplish. And one of those things is feeling good. Exercising makes me feel good. It allows me to have mental sharpness, acuity. It helps me to be able to be grounded. Um, it helps me to feel calm. It helps me, it generates those positive feelings that I was mentioning earlier that we want so badly. And so, hey, if you're feeling stuck today, feeling depressed, feeling isolated, you know, just feeling all kinds of yucky feeling, remember, don't just stay around, hang around for good feelings to come. They won't come like that. It's going to come by what you tell yourself because after what you tell yourself over and over again, after, after a while, you start to believe that. So tell yourself something that is true that is positive and that you sustain. So happy Thursday to you. And, and remember, many times, a lot of us rather worry than fail. Get up and fail today. Go fail going out to the gym or whatever it is that you're gonna do this morning. Get up and just give an attempt at it and see what you learn. You know, let, let, the, let the process be your outcome. The process meaning that thing that you need to do. Let that thing be your outcome. Right? So don't be stuck today. You know, don't remain in that stuck position. Um, get up and move about today and see what happens. Happy Thursday. And um, I don't know. I hope you connected with something I said today. Um, I don't know. This came straight from the heart because I really woke up feeling this one. Have a great Thursday. Bye.